Hey dudes, welcome back to my um, run through Battle Tower, the 100 Trainer Challenge, where I attempt to go through Battle Tower without losing to anybody and getting through 100 trainers in a row who are going to keep on getting tougher as I go on. But I'm giving myself three continues, so if it so happens that I lose a match, I'm not going to go all the way back to the first trainer. I'm going to keep on going. All right, I'm your guide to the double battle rooms. Do you like to? Yes, yes. I have to keep going through this every time. All right, Metagross first, Zapdos, Snorlax, and Salamence. I love this team. It's so awesome. I know a lot of people on message boards, and they're like, oh, yeah, my team totally got uh, through 100 battles without losing. And I don't know how they can do that. I mean, honestly, my record for getting through Battle Tower without losing even one match, my record is 90 wins. And I have no idea how I got that far, because... Um, 90 battles of, uh, 90 battles, what's going to happen is at some point, somebody's going to get very lucky, unnaturally lucky, like you figure the odds, how could I get through 90 battles without somebody getting lucky and just lucking my team to death? I mean, luck favors the prepared, but still. Alright, uh, I, I better concentrate. So I'm up against the Tauros, and this flying type, he'll just die immediately, so let's kill off the Zetu there. Oh, you used Earthquake on me. And this is a tough Tauros. I figure that um, the enemies that I go up against have the best possible natures, and they've already been completely pumped up on steroids, just like my own Pokemon. So, let's see. I think I can avoid Metagross dying if... Now, you know what? He's probably not going to use Earthquake this time, because he'll kill his own teammate if he does, but... Um, let's see, I'll use Earthquake here, and I'll switch out to Salamence, because I want to lower both their attacks, and we'll just see what happens. I'm curious. Oh, he's gonna fake me out, okay. Oh, nope, he's gonna hurt his own teammate. Boy, he got lucky there. But, that's okay, because what happens is now I've got a Hariyama that is weakened in attack power, and that's all he really has. So... Let's see, should I kill off the Hariyama or should I kill off the Tauros? Actually, I'm going to kill off the Tauros. Let's see, Drill Peck on Hariyama and let's use Earthquake. I don't think that Hariyama is going to die because of this. Oh, I, I stand corrected. He is going to die. Darn it, that's too bad. I wanted a useful idiot Pokemon to stay out. But whatever. I can handle having just one enemy to deal with. Alright, Brick Break on you. Brick Break is a really useful move against Pokemon like this, because you've got a Cradillia out here, who's like, um, he doesn't have that many weaknesses, like, against Ice types and Fighting types. And I think that's it. I could be wrong. Alright, Thunderbolts and Brick Break again. Brick Break won't work against Barrier, it's weird like that. Alright, down he goes, that was easy. Avant-Garde Pokedex, what does that mean? I don't know. Alright, opponent number two. Wow, that first opponent took three minutes. This kindergarten magazine is too much. Okay, this tuber shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, slacking and... Not a good idea, guys. Alright, protect. Protect. Alright, a mega kick with slacking could pretty much take down anything at all, but... Alright, uh... Pokemon. I'm going to switch out to Snorlax because I don't want this Jinx using an Ice-type move on my Zapdos because I just used Protect and I can't afford to do that again. Oh, okay. Whatever. So Jinx is down and now comes Swampert. So we're going to Protect again and Protect and I realize having my Snorlax with his Focus Band use Protect means that he can't use anything else now. But that's okay. And that... Uh, now he's just going to use Counter. What I've noticed in these tournaments is that whenever I come across a Swampert, they always use Counter. So I'm just going to use um, special type moves on him. And uh, just mess him up with that. Oh, okay, he actually used Mirror Coat that time. He somehow knew what I was going to do. I'm not sure if the Pokemon game cheats or not, as far as that goes. I'm going to have to take care of that slacking. Yeah, that slacking could be trouble if I only have... Let's see, what, what am I going to do here? 
I should probably use Earthquake again since it doesn't matter anyway. And let's see if we can kill off this Swampert before he's able to kill my guys off. I, he's probably going to counterattack and uh, totally destroy my Metagross, but that's okay because Metagross was weakened anyway. Alright, so out comes Zapdos again. And this is a useful Swamper because he's using Earthquake and hurting his own dude. Alright, protect and protect. We can't afford this thing killing off any of my guys with his little Mega Kick. Alright, so I'm going to use Thunderbolt on Slacking and Earthquake. I know I'm going to be able to move before the Swampert. His speed isn't that good. Swampert is one of the best starters there is. My only problem is, you know, he's a good water type in a whole region of really good water types. So it's kind of useless to have him. Alright, uh, Protect. Protect. Yeah, this is back in the day before anything can be used to uh, counterattack against Protect. Like, Protect was the one surefire move you could use that would keep your team um, safe for one turn. Alright, let's see if we can kill off this Golduck in one hit. We should be able to. Yeah, one Thunderbolt, I figured that would do it. I probably should have used Brick Break, but that's okay. Let's check out the speed. I don't care if he moves before my Pokemon and kills them with a Mega Kick. I just want to see who's faster, my Zapdos or that Slacking. Zapdos is, okay. Enjoy a tasty school diet. Alright, so that's the most powerful tuber ever, but it's still just a tuber. Like, whenever you face a tuber, you could think, eh, no big deal. Alright, so is this going to be a Pokemon Ranger or a Camper? A Pokemon Ranger. Okay, I, I gotta keep my guard up because these guys are tough. Let's see, Venomoth is one of those useless Pokemon that nobody takes seriously. So, we'll concentrate on the Scyther. I think this will kill it in one hit. Yep. Scyther's attack only. He's no good with defenses. Yeah, look how much that little sludge bomb did. It's a high level move and it got a same type attack bonus and it still didn't do jack. Alright, the Breloom. That guy's got a times 4 weakness against flying types, so I'm going to go ahead and... Earthquake. This, sh this drill peck should be sufficient, but my Zapdos has a bad nature as far as attack goes, so... Um, if I, if for some reason Drill Peck doesn't kill it, then my Metagross's Earthquake should be able to knock it down to the rest, uh, knock down the rest of its health. But it did. And Earthquake's going to kill this Venomoth, who has wings, who should be able to fly and dodge it. You know? <laughs> Boy, easiest Ranger ever! And he, he loses, he pretends he's a mill tank. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to hear the same stuff over and over and over again, but... You know, that's what happens when you're facing this many trainers at once. Alright, let's see. He's relying on speed, so what I'm going to do here... Um, I better protect because I can tell that Typhlosion is going to want to kill my uh, my Met Metagross and... See, can I Thunderbolt kill that Crobat in one hit? I don't think I can, but it's worth the risk. Oh, wow, I did! Usually what happens is for some reason, Crobat is able to live through it. Okay, what I'm about to do here, this is a double victory here. Not only is um he going to use Fire Blast against Salamence, and it's not going to be very effective, but I'm also going to lower the attack power of that Dawn fan there, and that's one of the only things he has going for him, so uh, he's totally screwed. Okay, so he's going to make uh, my Salamence angry. I can't have that. I don't tolerate confusion. Let's bring back Metagross here. And I don't think that that uh, Typhlosion is going to attempt another Fire Blast on my Metagross. Uh, let's see. On my Salamence. See how well... I like how my team is able to complement each other really well. Oh, okay. You want to increase my Zapdos' attack? You go ahead and do that. Drill Peck will be useful for once. All right, Protect and Thunderbolt. Wow! I really didn't think that my Zapdos would move before that Typhlosion, but okay. All right, Dawn Fan, now use that same move on my Metagross. Let's see, Earthquake, and I'll bring back Zapdos and summon Salamence again. I'll lower your attacks further! Ha ha ha! Shoot, I ran out of time, but that's okay. I'm taking my time on these battles. 
because that's what you got to do sometimes. Got to take your time. You should not have done that, dude. My Metagross now has base power 199, attack greatly increased. This Earthquake will kill anything now. Okay, I'm just going to use Protect and let Metagross finish them off. Yeah, you guys are dead. All right, so that's four battles down in, in this round. And uh, when I come back, I'll be uh, finishing off the last three battles. But I'm out of time, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next part.